So we're going to go ahead and set our trim, which I said we were always going to do after I built this new Z-axis. I didn't have dust collection. I was going to make a video about this dust collection uh, boot shoe that I have. I'm not real impressed with it. Uh, it's fallen off and you can see I've had a little damage. So I'm going to redesign that and we're going to do that later. But right now we can still collect just enough so I can go ahead and set my plumb on my Z-axis in both directions. So let's get going. So this is one of the reasons why I want to rebuild this. It's kind of a little difficult to put on and I don't know if I machined it incorrectly, but it has a little trouble lining up and you gotta mess with it more than I care to mess with it just to get it connected. So the first pass is gonna be on the Y axis and I set this pretty deep for our first pass. You'll notice that all my screws are set way below the level so we don't uh, create sparks and stuff like that. And after our first pass, we'll get a measurement of where we're at, and then we'll adjust it accordingly. So you can see the ridges that it left here and you can tell that the angle it's too deep on the one side so we're going to have to tilt it back and adjust it the other way. So this is why I rebuilt the z-axis so I could adjust it and I'm just loosening the bolts where I can get it to pivot down to get it to the level that I need it. So I brought the bit down to the surface of the material and I could actually see it that it wasn't level or properly plumb and so I was visually just adjusted it to where I needed it and then I tightened it back up. So I made one last pass just to make sure that it was accurate and it was. It was as good as I needed it to get and then we're going to go on and do the x-axis. Since I had already surfaced it the one direction, I just took a little bit off this time, which didn't create much dust, so I didn't even need the dust shoe, and this came out perfect. That X tram is perfect. There's a tiny bit of ridge, but that's only like every two inches, so that came out really well. I won't even have to adjust that. But if I needed to adjust it, I could just come here on my Z axis. All these four bolts or four bearings are all in the center bushings, and I can adjust them and make this thing tilt however I want, but I don't need to. We're good to go. In my Z-axis rebuild, I had been telling you that I only had an eccentric pushing here and here because I couldn't find the other two. Uh, the reason I couldn't find the other two is because they hadn't come in the mail yet because I hadn't received them. So this is good. So now we're going to probably rebuild this dust shoe and do some other kind of do some other kind of project real soon. See you again.